Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to create graphics for your Instagram stories using a program called Canva. Now you can use Canva on your phone, on the app, but I most like using it on the desktop because it's just easier, there's a lot more functionality, and what I tend to do is batch create story content on here, put it onto my phone via email or airdrop, and then I've got a ton of stuff ready that I can use. So first of all, we're going to go to canva.com and you can sign up for a free account. I do have a paid account because we use it for tons of stuff and it just gives you more features, but there's a lot that you can do with the free account, including the things that we're talking about today. Then I go to create a design and it will give me lots of different formats and I want to use the custom dimensions. Then I'm going to put in the custom dimensions for Insta Stories, which is 1080 by 1920. And click design. That will give me the, the canvas <laughs> for me to be able to create my story on. And then the first thing I tend to do, you can use these different layouts to break it up, but I often keep things pretty simple and just upload some images. So on this left hand side I can go to my uploads. If you haven't uploaded any images on your Canva account, if it's your first time, just click upload images and you can start uploading them from your computer. And I'm going to flick over to another screen where I've got some images added. So to add images, just to show you I've got some here, I can click this button to create another slide and just delete that by clicking on it and press delete. Then here you can see lots of images that I, I have used before and uploaded before. So I can just drag and drop. It's quite intuitive Canva. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna drag and drop, move them over. And I can either keep it with some white space at the bottom so that I can add questions and do text on stories, or I can really stretch it out but remember that the size is quite unusual. So when you're taking your photos of your jewelry or around your workshop, have a think about Insta stories and the dimensions because you're probably gonna be using them a fair bit and you wanna make sure that it kind of works. <laughs> so I can either just download my images like this. I've added various different images to different slides or I can add in some text here. So if I click on the left hand side on the text area, I've uploaded some brand fonts already but if not then you can choose any font you like. So I can click add a heading and it will give me some text and I can start typing something in. Then I can treat this text however I want. Up here I can choose different fonts, so there's a whole range of fonts for you to choose from to keep it all on brand. And as I said, if you have fonts already that you use for your brand, you can upload them. I can go capital, lowercase, I can also change the colours, and because I have a paid account as well, I've got brand colours, which you may or may not have access to. And of course I can also choose where I want to put everything. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. Go a little bit smaller. Oh, it's a lot smaller. <laughs> then let's say I wanted to add a little bit of a block of colour to my piece as well. I can click on elements on the left hand side and there's tons of stuff you can do here. But I'm going to click on shapes. And I'm just going to add the first one, which is like a square that can be made into a rectangle. So again, it's all sort of drag and drop, move it over. And to adjust the priorities of what's shown in front of what, I'm just going to click on Arrange. Click back so that that goes behind the text. And then that's a nice piece that I can upload to my story as one of the slides. I try with Insta Stories not to fill up the slide too much because I might want to put a little GIF or uh, might want to put some hashtags, location, stickers. So give a little bit of space for that too. And also think about how the story might move from one section to the other, so the flow of it. And you might combine these with videos and text pieces alone. Um, so I've got another piece here. This is another 
image that I've uploaded and just to show you some other things that you can do with Canva. Don't use many other things actually other than the text and the, and the upload. There are frames, so frames are sort of shapes. So if I wanted to maybe show this on a computer frame, I can put that in and I'm just gonna drag, drag my background image, see if I can, might not like it because I've already uploaded it, so I'll make it a little bit smaller and then drag it into there. There we go. I can make that a little bit bigger. So there's all different types of frames. There's a, that's a computer one, there's phone ones, there's circles, squares, so you can kind of adjust the outside shape of your piece. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that might be useful for you guys. Lines I use sometimes, so if I just want to break up a bit of text, I can add in a little line and then maybe put some text underneath. Or there's different types of lines, wavy lines, all sorts. Uh, there are icons and things, but as I said, I tend not to use a lot of this, a lot of this stuff, but have a play and see, <laughs> see if any of it is useful for you. The, actually, the main thing I use it for is just cropping my images the way that I want them and nice and high res. Um, another thing actually, just to show you quickly, is if I go to my uploads, I've also got logos and various bits and pieces. So if with your branding you have any backgrounds or any sort of patterns that you use, you can upload those to Canva as well. And we can just pop in one of our backgrounds. So I could use this and I can either just export it as it is and then play around with it in stories, or I can add some text over it, or I can add also some images over it. So you can really sort of get creative. They call it graphic design for non-designers and I think that is really what Canva is about. So I could then sort of put an image in. Then when I upload that onto stories I could write some text underneath. So when you're ready to export you just click download and it'll give you different options. I tend to download them as JPEGs and select which ones you want to download, if it's all of them or not, and just click download. Then what you do is just email them onto your phone or however you use images, however you transfer them over. You might use WeTransfer or AirDrop. Then you are ready to use them on your phone. So have a go, have a play with Canva. It's a lot of fun. Try not to get frustrated with it if it doesn't work straight away. It it really, once you get used to it, it's amazing for all sorts of things in your jewelry business, not just Instagram stories. I use it pretty much every day. So it's a very valuable tool. All right, best of luck and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.